Hello everybody. In this video, I will explain to you the time differentiation property of Fourier transform. We know uh, Laplace transform of any signal. In this case, F t is f omega. If we apply time differentiation to ft, then in frequency domain, we have to multiply f omega with j omega. Let's consider a rectangular function um, A rectangular t over tau The Fourier transform of this function is A tau sinc omega tau over 2 We can find this relation in the table of Fourier transform pairs Now let replace a with 5 and tau with 2 then the Fourier transform of 5 rectangular t over 2 is 10 sin omega Now, it is important to visualize um, the rectangular function if we apply time differentiation as the time differentiation is basically we are trying to find the slope of the signal so by looking the signal from left to right or t from minus infinity to infinity then the slope from t minus infinity to t equal to minus 1 is 0 and then at t equal to minus 1 the slope is infinity from t equal to minus 1 to 1 again the slope is 0 at t equal to 1 the slope is minus infinity and when t is greater than 1 the slope is 0 the infinity and minus infinity can be uh, represented by an impulse function then we have to put a magnitude to this impulse functions in this case um, when t equal to minus 1 the impulse function has a magnitude of 5 and when t is equal to 1 the impulse function has the magnitude of minus 5 
based on the original signals 5 rectangular T over 2 so the impulse function at T equal to minus 1 can be written as 5 delta T plus 1 and the impulse function at T equal to 1 can be written as minus 5 delta T minus 1 those are basically the shifted impulse so the Fourier transform of the signal after we apply time differentiation is the Fourier transform of 5 delta t plus 1 minus 5 delta t minus 1 which is 5 exponent j omega minus 5 exponent minus j omega assume 5 rectangular t over 2 is a function called ft then if we apply time differentiation to ft the Fourier transform of the dft over dt is equal to 5 e j omega minus 5 e minus j omega which is equal to j omega f omega based on the differentiation property then the f omega is equal to 1 over j omega multiply with 5 e j omega minus 5 e minus j omega So, using the Fourier transform pairs, the Fourier transform of 5 rectangular t over 2 is 10 sin omega. However, using the differentiation property, the Fourier transform of the same function, 5 rectangular t over 2, is equal to 1 over j omega multiplied with 5 e j omega minus 5 e minus j omega both equation are correct Let's consider another function, gt, and we want to find the Fourier transform of the gt, which is g omega. If we want to solve this problem using time differentiation property, we have to differentiate the function gt and draw to visualize what happened to the signal when we apply when we apply time differentiation to gt so based on the signal gt the d gt over dt signal is basically um, having two shifted impulse um, which can be written as 10 delta t minus 2 minus 10 delta t minus 6 
the Fourier transform of a dgt over dt is g omega multiplied with j omega and this is equal to 10 e minus 2 j omega minus 10 e minus 6 j omega so we can obtain g omega as 1 over j omega multiplied with 10 e minus 2 j omega minus 10 e minus 6 j omega I will see you in the next video.